I believe that animals have a lot to give to the world. I think that they need to be saved. I get 30, 40 calls a week for dogs and about the same for horses and goats and it's just really sad. They need places to go and I believe that like these animals are here to, to do a job. I believe that, um, I don't know, they, they help the earth. I mean, I believe that there's, they need to be here and, and I don't know, keep the world going. I used to pretend when I was little, I'd take my plastic lion and rhinoceros and elephants and lay them out in the dirt and pretend that they were my little zoo. I wanted to be a lion tamer and I wanted to ride the Ar Ar Arabian horses and, and uh, so that's what's inspired me to take all the other animals in as well as, you know, horses. When I was eight years old, I told my mom and my dad that I wanted to work with horses. So they asked some friends and said, my son wants to work with horses. And I went over, I'd trade grooming horses, cleaning the horse stalls, bathing the horses, and, uh, and trade that for horse lessons. But it took me a lot of time before I could even get horse lessons and trade. I just had to, you know, get around the horses just to be comfortable with them before I could get on them. And when I was nine years old, I, I uh, told my horse trainer, that I wanted to get a horse. And so she asked around and there was a horse on the property and she asked me if I'd ever heard of leasing a horse. I got to learn how to do Western riding, English riding on the horse. And uh, then at the stables with another horse and uh, the horse I was leasing, we'd go on trail rides and the other horse's name was Carrie and there's a little girl, Natalia, and she would go out on trail rides with me. A few years later, she told me she needed to get rid of her horse and gave her horse to me. <laughs> and that was the very first horse I ever owned. So, and she still lives with me right to this day. All the animals I have have been rescued or taken from friends that just didn't want them anymore. And my goal is to build a nice place for those animals to come. And I'm taking those animals in, I've taken them in as pets. But now what I want to do is raise funds to bring in animals that I can adopt out. I'll take them in and care for them for a time. If they have problems, like they're too skinny, they have something wrong with them, then I'll, I'll rehabilitate them and adopt them out to the right proper homes. Uh, what I'd like to do is have birthday parties here at the ranch as an educational um, place for the kids to learn about animals and learn about the animals uh, and learn that the animals need a place to go and, uh, and people to take care of them. I took the, the baby goats to a school I teach as well and it was so interesting to watch the little kids faces because they had never seen anything like that and it was such a cool experience so eventually I want to be able to travel more with the animals and, and use them in that capacity. I think that a lot of kids um, when they grow up aren't exposed to you know these types of animals. I mean they have dogs, they have cats. Um, but. These animals are a lot harder to keep in the city. And growing up in the city, it's not like you can keep a horse in your backyard. So uh, I, I believe that it's a neat experience for them and they need to learn about them. Uh, I've heard of kids not knowing where eggs come from. So it'd be good to be able to bring them out here and walk them to the chicken coop and be able to take an egg from underneath a chicken, you know, have that experience of, of seeing where the eggs come from or um, milking cows. So. A way I believe that I could promote the rescuing of animals and these animals that I've rescued is by doing magic with the animals I've rescued. And what I really would like to do in my dream is to travel and have videos and, and educate people around the world with these animals that I've rescued and tell the stories of the ones that are in the show. And I believe that it's a good way and it goes well, they go well with each other basically. And I believe that that will be a good way to, to promote it and it'll be a showy way so it'll make it easier to get it across the, the, the footlights.